In this video, I'm going to show you how to work split single crochet back and forth for a thicker and more resistant fabric. This sample is made back and forth with one color only, and I will show you how it's made for you to practice. For this sample, I'm using worsted weight yarn and a 5mm crochet hook. To start, chain 21. And for row 1, starting in second chain from the hook, loosely single crochet 20 by pulling a longer loop before closing each single crochet. And repeat for every stitch. Insert the hook in next chain, yarn over, then pull a longer loop through the chain, yarn over and close the stitch. The result will be a taller single crochet. So you can insert the hook through the center of every stitch in the following row. Continue making following single crochets loosely to complete row 1. And this is the end of row 1 with 20 single crochets made loosely. Your work will even curve a little from the beginning, but this will be fixed by making following rows with split single crochets. Next, in row 2, we will be going through every stitch to make split single crochets. To start row 2, I turn my work, chain 1, and turn your work a little to the side to make first split single crochet of the row by inserting the hook through the two loops of the stitch below and coming out through the center of last stitch of row 1. Yarn over. And again, pull a longer loop to continue making stitches loosely, yarn over and close. And your first split single crochet is finished by inserting the hook right through the center of the stitch below. For next stitch, you will have to go through the inverted V-shape of next stitch below. Insert your hook by going through the center of the stitch below. Yarn over, pull through with a long loop. Yarn over and close and second split single crochet is finished by going through the center of the stitch below. And continue repeating for following stitches by going through the inverted V-shape of every stitch below. Insert the hook in next stitch, yarn over, pull through with a long loop, Yarn over and close. And another split single crochet is completed. And continue repeating for following stitches to complete row 2. Remembering to pull longer loops in every stitch, so you can go through the center of each stitch in the following row as well.
Also take care to complete the row by making last split single crochet. And row 2 is finished with 20 split single crochets made loosely. And you'll see how your sample starts to thicken and tighten up a bit. Now for row 3, turn your work, chain 1, turn your work a little to the side to see the inverted V shape of stitch below. Insert your hook through the center of the stitch, yarn over, pull a long loop, yarn over and close. And you have completed first split single crochet of row 3. Now for following split single crochets, continue inserting the hook through the center of the inverted V shape of every stitch. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull a long loop, yarn over and close. And continue repeating for every following stitch. And all the way to the last split single crochet of the row. And row 3 is finished with 20 split single crochets. For row 4, chain 1, turn your work, and again make 20 split single crochets loosely. And continue repeating for following rows. And this is how your sample will look after some more rows. From the front and the back of the work, which are basically the same. And the result is a chunkier and more resistant fabric. And here's my sample of split single crochet back and forth and another with split single crochet worked in the round. When worked in the round, stitches will look a lot more aligned, one over the other. And in this case, there is also a right side and a wrong side of the work. But thickness and strength of the fabric is the same. Also, when working with split single crochets in the round, the hook goes through the regular V shape of every stitch by pulling long loops to keep crocheting loosely as well. But when working split single crochets back and forth, stitches align a little differently. Like following a zigzag line. And both sides of the work look the same. You start every row by making the first split single crochet through the inverted V shape of the edge. And for following split single crochets, you insert the hook through the inverted V shapes of following stitches. So you can decide which technique works better for you depending on the project you're making. For split single crochet in the round, you can already find a tutorial in my channel which even includes tapestry crochet technique. Hope you've enjoyed this other variant of split single crochet and that you can put it into practice in new projects.